Hi! It's been a while since I've done a vlog, but I wanted to document my entire autumn this year because I feel like last year I kind of robbed myself of it. I was traveling a lot, I was very busy with personal stuff, but today is November 2nd and I just finished filming the um, fountain pen video, which is actually very crammed. But I'm gonna show you how my desk looks like right now because it's kind of chaotic from a whole morning of filming. Um, while I was filming, I was very productive because I was listening to Britney Spears' audiobook, The Woman and Me. It was really intense. And then I continued it with some podcasts and also I've been listening to the audiobook of The Hunger Games, The Ballads of Songbirds and Snakes, which you'll probably hear from me a lot in this vlog because it's going to come out this month in theaters. So this is the current filming area. Actually, this round table kind of programmed it to be where I will film. And it's still a mess right there. I'm still sorting, but we did manage to film. And also this is the um, new stamp set from Everyday Explorers Co. So I took out all my props. So I'm going to be sorting that later on. But overall, it was a productive filming day and filming morning rather and now we're headed to meet Yana and co-work together at a coffee shop Good morning, it is Monday and the sun is really shining today which is really nice for November, that's very rare. But it's a busy week, it's so funny, last night I, before going to bed, I had like a bunch of ideas that I wanted to run to. So I did this and it's so funny because I bought this like A A3 like sketch pad thing, it's just like plain paper but I realized that I need to kind of like do a full dump before actually plotting projects because everything is somehow connected. So I've been like tinkering this the whole morning and Keisha's here working also in the other room. We have a living room area here so um, she's there and I have to work in a bit. But I wanted to show you two things. Yesterday, I met up with a friend and she and I watched the Eras Tour movie and I cried like... I don't know, I just have big Taylor Swift feelings because I grew up listening to Taylor Swift and I still do at the moment. So she gave me this poster, super nice. Thanks, Gabs. So I'm gonna put it up on my this side of the wall. It's actually not facing the sun, but it has a lot of like travel postcards and stuff. So I'm gonna put this there so that I have a piece of Taylor Swift in my room and also it's giving like teenage 
bedroom energy when you open your closet and you have a poster there i used to have a poster of avril i think avril Lavigne. and then i also got the um december mail very early but i thought i'd show you so for december patreon mail i wanted to bump up the numbers and also um focus on so it's gonna be the new year, I thought of creating a 2024 calendar that you can use for your journal or like just put up on your wall. But I actually um, wanted to experiment and I was like, oh, I also made a lot more because I wanted to, I have two of these, I wanted to uh, give it out to my friends for the holidays. Like I, I like sending gifts to friends, so I'm gonna mail some of these so it's an a6 print like this and you have the 2024 calendar and then at the back i do have this um print uh photo of my journals so i thought it'd be nice to sort of like you know have both of them so if you wanna some people i saw like use this as their journal cover like inside their hobonichi with it actually very smart so you can definitely like flip it and have it multi-purpose so this will be the december december mail so i'm excited to pack that and i'm glad i had it done early because i'm leaving for japan mid-december so i wanted to get this out of the way hey abisi what are we doing today dropping off some mail for friends mail. Mail with a female. <laughs> Mail for the female. From the female for the female. Mail for the female. <laughs> And who did hear them? And what had they been like? And when he'd said rough, what's that? Oh my god, just finished filming. <sighs> I I'm, I get so like conscious doing these like sit down type. It's just not I'm just not as used to it as like overhead stuff because then I don't have a face to kind of talk and like look at and also the lighting is kind of inconsistent, but actually today is a good day and it's just in time because we are going to take the train and let's go to Kreuzberg. Look of the day. It's actually very plain, so I wore um, my Van Gogh sunflower socks. I think it looks better here. So cute. Love my keys. Thanks, Gabs, for this evermore. Keychain, so pretty. Sorry, I thought I thought I stopped filming, but I didn't. Doesn't matter. Good morning. It's actually ten minutes to noon. It's Wednesday, and current POV is I'm actually working on some emails and contacting some people 
So I've been out and about the first two days of the week. So today it's like I want to sit down until I think I have I have Pilates class at six o'clock. So I have to film the rest of the B-roll for the fountain pen video and then I'll just sit on my computer and do all the admin work that I need to do as well as upload Patreon, send newsletter. I have a very uh, comprehensive list right here of what I need to do today. So I have to get that done. Just wanted to share like I've been really um, nervous because it's the year's about to end. And actually, for those who don't know, I live in Berlin. I've lived in Berlin since February 2022 and I'm under a freelance artist visa and I don't know anyone who has the same visa in the Philippines. So I'm the only one I know who has this visa as a Filipino in Berlin and it's really nerve it's really daunting honestly like I don't have anyone to talk about this but generally because of that uh, my visa will expire my permit will expire in February 2025, which means I have to show the government in Germany or like in Berlin that I need to stay in Berlin to make sure, like I need to prove to them that I need to stay here because I want to extend for maybe a few more years. So with that, I have to really tap into the local scene and like network with people here, which is feels like an irony because when I go to the US like I have a big network there of friends and people in the same industry but here for some reason because I live here I feel extremely shy and antisocial so I am trying to get over that fear I feel like there's a lot of things involved there with like the barrier language barrier even though I know, I know a lot of people speak English in Berlin but also just I don't know. I, I it never I never give I never gave myself a bit of credit for moving here because it has been really difficult. That's also the reason why I never talked about it on social media. Um, but yeah, I think actually filming this video has also helped me. Kind of filming this vlog has also helped me kind of get in touch with that side and be more open to talking about it. Um, so I've been sending some DMs and emails and like previous collaborators. I worked on some um, projects based in Germany in the past. That's why I was able to move here as well. So I'm doing that today. So it's very, um, you know, it's like, it feels very um, scary, but I know that I always do what I say as far as I know, so far in my 30 years of existence. So we're gonna be doing that. And actually some clients already replied, so I'm very excited to make some plans. So I think that's gonna be my my kind of arc for November, December, like close off the year, but also like kind of like plant seeds for the upcoming year, especially because winter here is really cold. So winter is gonna be like my brainstorm period. And then once spring comes, slowly start to build up things. So. Wish me luck and also if you know anyone or if you want to hire me to teach workshops in Germany in general let me know because I'm super open and I'm sort of slowly plotting the plans for next year. For sure we're going to San Francisco but I'm also having some workshops in LA in, in SoCal so more info on that soon. But yeah let's get to work.
happy Saturday. So it's noon and I just came back from a little coffee meetup. Remember the clip I earlier where I met someone in Leipzig at Kiroku? So actually she lives in Berlin and I got to meet up with her today, which was really nice. I always love making new friends. So we had a nice coffee and I'm headed out today, but I thought I'd put an end to this vlog first. So we're having lunch. My lunch is a uh, Korean fried tofu with rice. So actually I forgot that I bought um, pre-made Korean fried tofu. So I just he heated it up today and then we're having sencha Japanese green tea. I couldn't find the Ito N one. That's my favorite. Ito N green tea gen mai cha, but I really like these um cold teas for lunch. So I have very busy weekend plans today. But before that, I just realized, I didn't really show you how my Happy Meal looks like for November. It's fountain pen themed. This one is the print that's included. Apart from that, I also have this uh, sticker. It says, doing all right. And then I also uh, have a couple of um, German themed stamps that I will add in. It's assorted for every... Um, for every mail and then some torn sheets of this is a book from Verona that I got from uh, an old bookshop so I was like I feel like it would be nice you know it's a very um really nice um package of goodies and they're all housed in this envelope which you'll probably get in the mail if you join the tier I hope you enjoyed this vlog it is admittedly very challenging for me to film so i think this week tired me out a lot because there are a lot of new things i introduced to my routine one of which is filming videos which is what you're seeing now and another one is working out three times or four times a week so it has been really nice for my mental health and i will continue to do that so i feel like i've been like running on edge with like time and like not enough time for everything but since we're here i want to do show you a couple of things you'll probably see it in the next video anyway i haven't done a sit down like proper catching up journal um video so we'll do that but i have been diligently up late updating this um i don't know it's like a life update media journal kind of thing here and it's from everyday explorers co so christine gave me a this journal last year and i was supposed to make it a media journal but then i was kind of um, experimenting with using these sections as a mix of media and like life stuff so November I think is my experimental year also experimental month also with journaling because I don't really have anything like I don't have a proper journal anymore like I finished it in September so and I've been traveling the whole year so it's gonna be like a little experiment on that um, yeah, I also have an autumn journal, which I probably have to finish up now that, you know, winter's about to, you know, start. But it's been really thick. And I think my latest addition has to be to add, like, the things I've been, the food I've been eating this fall. But overall, overall it's a very um, meaty journal here. So, um... How do you even end vlogs? I have no idea. Oh, I wanted to make a quick shout out to Blackwing. So I went, met um, Nick from Blackwing in the San Francisco Pen Show and I am now an affiliate of Blackwing. So thanks so much to Blackwing for showing you the stuff I got because I was at the restaurant when I opened it and I was too excited. But basically Blackwing is a pencil brand and I have a theory they're Swifty. Look at that. Blackwing Eras. So this is um, a set of pencils. I have to start using them. But here, I love the colors. They look really great. Um, fit right in my color scheme. And I think this is going to be a good in, in good um, challenge for me to draw more because I've been in a rut and I wanted to do like a little creative reset challenge for me especially like I have more time now and I can slowly settle in I also got a sharpener 
And I'll probably use this journal slash sketchbook for the drawing that I was mentioning earlier. It is an A5 blank 100 GSM um, sketch sketchbook, I would say, sketchbook with a pencil inside already included, a black wing pearl. So I will also put the link below to um, access my affiliate link. I think you get a discount when you buy black wing pencils. They also have limited edition stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I have to go eat now because today I'm gonna meet Yana again. We're gonna go to Kreuzberg. I don't know why this vlog is like me going to Kreuzberg all the time, but I think it's just like um, coincidence. And I hope you have. And yeah, thanks for watching. This is me trying to be less shy. I hope to see you on the next video. Always be creating. Bye.